God save. I've got something for... I know this is your... It is indeed. Wouldn't you like to take a... I'd love to. I love it here by the water. But how come you've been so quiet the whole time? What's on your mind? You're on my mind. Oh? <laughs> in what way? Oh, uh, you know. How pretty you look in that. Ah. You think I look pretty, do you? Yeah. Especially when... when you laugh. <laughs> I was afraid you'd say especially when you've no clothes on. <laughs> well, now that you mention it... Come here, you charmer. Again. Don't you want a little See you again sometime. Rate, yes. Come by again. <laughs> Hail the conquering hero. I've got something that needs... All right. I... I bet you even... I'd like to... That's all. Good, fresh from the oven. I'm gonna get them. Good. Like See you later. <laughs> I'd like to. Here, and uh... thanks a thousand times.
God save. I'd like to make use of... And what is it? Get myself fixed up a bit. I'm sure you'll be... God be with... I'd like to make you... And what is... I'd like, um, a private bath. I'm sure you'll be extreme. God be with There's people walking here.
God be with you. I have the stolen parchment for you. Ha <laughs> ha! Good work! Once again... I can help you there. But once you find out what I have in mind... I see. Am I to free the king from imprisonment? Or steal Sir Divish... You know what? You're not that far off the mark. Sir Hanush has in his possession... A certain beautifully illuminated volume. Not that he knows how to read, mind. He go Don't tell me that you can read. Ha! Never let it be said I'd waste my time on such trifles. But I do have a buyer ready. And as you can imagine... I trust your reward will be generous. Have I ever let you down? Fear not, Hal. This time you'll be getting more than usual. You'll find the book right there in Hanush's chambers at the castle. It won't be easy. Good luck, then. I've got some... Right, take care. Can we do something? Well... Here you are. Well now.
I have a document for you from Sir Divish. It concerns the village you drove those bandits out of. The very same. So it's true then. Good. Good. Here it is. So what have we here? Hmm. 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 It says I should announce that anyone interested may move to Pribislavitz to live and work. And Sir Radzig and Sir Hanush also give their consent. Hmm. In that case, let's not waste any time. Come along with me. God be with you. I hope I can be of help. Farewell. Goods fresh from the oven. Come and get them. Hear ye, hear ye. It is hereby announced, in the name of Sir Hanush and Sir Divish, that you, the citizens of Ratai, as well as those who have found temporary refuge here, are permitted to move to the hamlet of Pribislavitz, to the north of Tomberg Castle, wherein you shall be vouchsafed a new life and new dwellings, providing that you shall contribute to the renewal of the hamlet. All those who choose to accept this offer shall be exempted from payment of taxes for a period of five years. They shall be permitted also to make use of timber from the surrounding woods and water from the streams. The hamlet of Pribislavitz lies in the domain of Sir Divish of Talmberg, and all who settle there shall be duty-bound to him. It is furthermore hereby announced that Henry of Skalitz is appointed to the administration of Pribislavitz and the office of bailiff therein, which office and privilege have been conferred upon him by Sir Divish for loyalty and services rendered. I would therefore recommend that our Skalitz friends consider this offer very seriously, as nothing better is likely to come your way any time soon. Forever. Amen. 
back to the grindstone. As usual. At least the weather's nice. Jesus Christ be praised. God be with you. Hey, you! What are you doing? Fuck There's off! There's the man. Lose my Good work, Henry. Thank you, sir. I tell you to take a well-earned rest, but unfortunately I need one more thing from you. Whatever you command. Jezek refuses to talk to us. Me? Indeed. Normally I'd send for Captain Burner to beat it out of him. I'll try to get something out of him. He's locked up in the tower. Burner... Very well, sir. Sir, I'm afraid I have some bad news. We Christ! It seems... Now this is something else, sir. We found a shield there with a crest. A tri... I know that coat of arms. And there was a letter there to... Show it to me. Although I think I... Here you are, sir. And scrupulous beast. Mm -hmm. Cruelty and malevolence. Uh -huh. I challenge you to face me in a duel. Defend your honour. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Aninomious wretch. Well, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Signed, Hagen Zul. As I expected, old grievances coming back to haunt me. This Sir Hagen wants to... Ch Apparently, he still hopes I will agree to this kind of... But surely you can't refuse a challenge to a duel. What about your honour? Henry, my boy, honour is a splendid thing, and it should be held in high regard. Like this one? Yes, like this one. The only reason Hagen is challenging me now is that he has a marked advantage. I've served as the royal hetman for the last... Hagen, meanwhile, was fighting in the Margraviate Wars in Moravia and elsewhere as a mercenary. Which of us do you think would win a duel? That's not honour, but an abuse of honour. Commonplace opportunism. I don't blame him for trying, but I'm not... What happened? That's a long... St well, if I'm to know what I'm up against, I'll need to hear at least the gist of it. True. All right, in a nutshell... Several years ago, I had to resolve a bloody feud between the Zuls and another family. So, I hanged the head of the family, raised their castle to the ground. Ever since then, they've had it in for me. But you acted in good conscience. Yes, although in retrospect it might seem excessively harsh. And it doesn't help that the other family is related to mine. Well, what are we going to do? You and Kuno's band will just have to deal with Hagen and prevent further mayhem. The longer he's marauding around these parts... So you'd fight him if it came to... Let's hope it doesn't come to that. But maybe there's something else behind this challenge. Maybe it's... All right. I'm sure you will, Henry. I'd like to ask something about... Sure.
I need the key to Yep. Mm. So, Sir Radzik let him have his way in the end. Don't take it that way. He probably wants to talk to me because he reckons he can hoodwink me. But that's where he's wrong. Just try not to mess it up. Thanks. I'd like to learn to fight. Certainly. I'd like to practice. All right. Now. I'd like to learn. Certain. I'm interested in more. Wouldn't you rather learn the... Well. How are you, Henry? Well, finally, I've had... Why do you want to talk to me, of all people? Radzik will keep me alive only as long as it takes to get everything I know out of me. You, on the other hand, gave me certain assurances. So I want to be sure that the secrets my life depends on end up in good hands. So come on out with it. Tell me everything you know, and then we'll see. Very well, ask me anything you want. I won't be obstructive. What I want to know most of all is who's behind it. Who were you making those forgeries for? Do you think I couldn't have handled it all myself? I'm not trying to insult you. It's just not a job one man could do alone. All right. The way it began was I was short of coin, as usual. Recruit you into... I didn't inquire too much. In this business, you don't ask too many questions. But when they found out I wasn't just anybody, they put me in charge of the counterfeiting. A foreigner by the name of Eric gave me instructions. But for sure, he isn't the chief. And there's someone highly placed at the monastery who's mixed up in it, too. How did you come to... I met some old friends in Colleen a few months ago. And they said they were heading for Sasau. That armed men were being...
old friends. He was just a couple of brigands. We used to ambush the Margrave's messengers in Moravia together. Nice friends you keep. I was in dispute with the Margrave. A man in my position finds himself mixed up with all sorts. And then what? Rapota and I had been living off stale crusts for a month, so I wasn't going to turn down the chance of work, honest or otherwise. We rode to Sasau and met with the recruiters. It didn't take long to realize I was a nobleman fallen on hard times, not some common peasant. Can you get to the point? Well, they introduced me to this Eric, and he told me what was needed. They set up the workshop, got the men, the supplies, everything. Crimps. You well, it seems so. I was giving the recruit... Where can I find the recruit? That's tricky. It was my friends who led me to them. We met with them in the woods. You said you gave them money. Where was that? They'd ride to the mine gallery to see me. I don't suppose you... Hmm. This Eric, you reckon he's not the... He puts on airs, but he's just a naive young pup. And he's always going... Where can I find this Eric? He used to come to the workshop unannounced. And after what's happened... This highly placed person... I've no idea who he is, only that he's no small fry. After all, he handles the exchange of the fort. Mm, I see. Now he was supposed to supply me with materials too, but he backed out. That'll do me for the money. Will you put in a word for me with Sir Radzig? I'll swear allegiance to him if he'll have me. I'm sick of being a renegade. Why would Sir Radzig want your allegiance? You're a criminal and that's how you'll be treated. So what have you learned? All sorts of things. There's some foreigner called Eric behind the counterfeit. The monastery? That's what Yezhek claimed. So it's worse than I thought. If this is true... We're... Why? Can't we just go to the... No. If the church is truly involved... I... So what will you do? I'll have to think about it. It won't be an easy nut to crack. I'll have to consult... I don't know, but he's recruiting oh. armed men in... Sa Damn! So it looks... It most certainly wasn't, sir. And what's more, Sir Yezhek is convinced this Eric is only a... You should return to Sasso and take a closer look at those recruiters. If they're going... It might not be as straightforward as that. Sir Yezhek didn't know them and has no idea how to find them. Yeah. I'm... I'm not sure where to... Then ask around the alehouses and inns, or at the Rad House. Someone must have heard something. These things can't... Whatever you do, be careful, Henry. And best not mention my name. It would attract unwelcome attention. What we want is for the crimps to take you for just an... All right, sir. I'll try to blend... I know I'm asking a lot of you. But I know of no one... As you command, sir. Look out. Um, oi!
Help. Oh. Good health to you. I have that book from Hanish. Great work. Here's your well-earned reward. God be with you. Will you teach? Certainly. I'd like to. First, you have to. Well. I hear your. Certainly. I'd like to hope. First, you have to. Ha well. I'll see you later. Look what you'll love.
I've been to see Sir Radzi. So how did he take the news? Well, he wasn't exactly happy. I can well imagine. I wouldn't want the Zools plundering my estates. He wants us to carry on patrolling the area. There's nothing... That makes sense. I don't think he'll come to us. So we'll just have to hope we run into him. Sure. Mount up, then, and let's go. Please, can we stop for a bit? My arse is aching, and I've such a thirst I could drink a moat dry. Same here. Now, what do you say, Chief? Not to worry. We'll re-choose it soon. We'll spend the night there. I heard they've got a peculiar priest there. <laughs> they say he drinks like the devil himself. <laughs> There's nothing strange about that. Every other man of the cloth is a swill pot. Or a lecher. Or both. <laughs> <laughs> Quiet. Listen. Nothing to fear. We're with Sir Radzik, in a manner of speaking. What's the matter? These brigands came. The menfolk fled and left us there. They started pillaging the place, drinking whatever they could find and smashing things. I ran off, but the other girls... They... You've got to save them. Please, I beg you. Easy, lass. Drinking, you say? Aye, sir. They rolled the casks into the courtyard and started swilling like pigs from a trough. Well, as our old cook used to say, if you want to make a proper goulash, you should soak the meat in ale for a while to soften it first. Ah, let them get well soaked and then go and chop them up. Good thinking, Chief. But what about the girls? Those men, they, they were... Ah... I'm sure your friends won't be getting nothing they ain't had before. Well, unless they be nuns. <laughs> <laughs> Kuno, you know, the girl's right. If we delay, her friends will pay the price for it. I appreciate your advice, Henry. But it's caution that will keep you alive, not chivalrous deeds. How do you think Sir Radzig will look if you let that happen? What will people say? <laughs> if I cared what people say, I wouldn't be a mercenary. It's no skin off my nose. Well, I can tell you, Sir Radzig cares, and so do I. So we better ride there right now. Oh, all right. I hope your Radzig will take care of my funeral mass too. 
My sin-burdened soul will need a bit of a push to get through the gates of heaven. Don't worry. They won't be as drunk as you'd like, but they won't be entirely sober either. True enough. Let's do it then. Right. We better try and save those girls from Hagen's brutes. Let's go. Yeah. 